Hey guys, Kid Guru here with a tutorial for today, pretty much on RSS, and that stands for RSS. I'm sure you've heard of it, and you may, I'm sure you've seen the symbol. Usually that's the active RSS symbol, it could be that way, or you know, it could be gray, whatever it may be. Um, but I'm sure you've seen it floating around either your browser or on a website or anywhere like that. And what RSS stands for is really simple syndication. And here's the Wikipedia on it. And I'm not going to read this off to you. I'm just going to show you the history of the incompatibilities of RSS through its updates, examples of RSS 1.0 and XML and all that stuff, you know, upgrading. It's RSS 2.0 is now what we call it. And I'll leave this wiki in the uh, uh, video description. But, guys, I just wanted to give you an idea of what RSS is and how it can be used and how it can be helpful. First off, what, like I said, RSS is really simple syndication, and it actually is really simple to set up and you know syndicate to get uh, contact content or web you know web feeds as it says here, published you know frequently frequently added content or updated content or anything of that. Uh, like it says here as an example, it says blog entries, news headlines, or podcasts, or pretty much anything on the web that has updated and is built with an RSS feed. Many sites use it. Uh, I'm sure you've been on a site that uses it, RSS. Um, you know, emails are even updates, you know, stuff like that, that updates frequently. And an RSS, that's an RSS. It up, it's, it's stuff that's updating frequently. And uh, what we use is RSS feeds that are the things that actually, you know, allow us to, uh, you know, um, update us and those are updated through our, what they call RSS aggregators or feed readers or a feed reader or an RSS aggregator and those are built within software so let me show you a uh, example of RSS I use what they call feed reader and here's feed reader right here and here's some of the things I'm subscribed to within I'm subscribed to Engadget, Gizmodo, uh, TUAW, the unofficial Apple web blog, uh, ThinkGeeks, what's new stuff, the, t the twit.tv blogs, the Twitter my 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 Twitter and my friends' Twitters, uh, unread news, RSS. This is what we call a feed reader. Now that's the program's name, but it's also what we can call a feed reader or an aggregator. So it updates everything and it organizes it through here and lets me know everything that's been updated and it shoots it right straight from the web content itself, the the actual RSS feed. Now, I'm sh like I said, I'm sure you've seen RSS feed. Now, there's a couple RSS feeds ways you can go. Here's some, my notes are here. Really simple syndication. We've gone through all of this. Now, there's your web readers, as in within your browser. If you're using IE, you're using Safari, you're using whatever, you probably have this button right up there. And if you click it, usually it'll bring you to about what's RSS. And if you click it on Google, that is, I'll tell you what RSS is. Ads to Google, you know, stuff like that. So if you're on YouTube and you click that, it'll even give you a description of RSS right there but let's say you want to subscribe now that's not an active RSS now or well, you could subscribe to that page right off the bat but let me show you for an example how to subscribe to what they usually call live bookmarks in within your browsers now for example um, I'm sure if you hit control B and you're using Firefox you have a, something called a bookmarks toolbar that shows all your bookmarks uh, you, you know your page is bookmarked that's just another word for your favorite or whatever now how about we go into a you know your actual uh... how should I say your actual uh... you know your RSS and that will be all shown through here so let's say I go to a site like dig.com dig.com or well actually yeah well I have a site pulled up here like Jimmy R site okay he has a whole bunch of news from all the, a lot of social networking sites like StumbleUpon a Wired or Dig right there at best of the 24 hours and he has some other stuff like that. So these are all kind of type of. I'm pretty sure these are all integrated through RSS. They're updating frequently, like uh, the Digs best of last 24 hours. So that's you know an example now. How do you actually use one or subscribe to one within your browser? Now there's an RSS button you can subscribe to right there. But let's say you only want to subscribe to what's new in technology. So I'm just gonna click here at technology and wait for that to load. And then as soon as that loads. Um, it's going kind of slow. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, here. Oh, sorry, it's up. Now I can click right here. Now some of them may be in the pages. Some might be up here. If you click this, uh, it'll take you to the feed view, and this is what the feed view would look like. Now you can integrate it through your browser, or your you can choose an application. Now you can do what they call live bookmarks. And a live bookmark. I'll show you an example of a live bookmark. Um, so if I hit subscribe now. 
it's going to make me just pick a bookmark and basically what it'll do, I'm not going to actually subscribe to it, but I'll subscribe to it in my feed reader. Basically it's just going to, you can, you know, it's just like setting up a bookmark, but here's the difference in an RSS. I'll set it to feedreader.exe because that's what I like it being read through. Subscribe to it, just like subscribe to YouTube channel or anything like that. Now I'm just going to wait for this to get, the feed's going to be added right here. It's going to say, that's the dig. Uh, container now with a RSS with a feed the one I'm using is called feed reader. You can do a couple things. You can post what they call the XML file, which is what an RSS is made of. It's made of XML code, and basically the XML is what the viewing of the RSS looks like, the view format. Now, if you can you can copy this and paste it into feed reader, or you can just hit subscribe now, and I'll paste the link for you. Hit OK, and you're just gonna wait for all the news to be uh, go through this aggregator. And I'm just gonna call it dig slash technology, and I'm gonna click out of it, and now. What I like about feed reader, it sends you pop-ups of new news, and um, there you go. It shows you the the web type of the web clipper. Then you can you know do that to your liking stuff like that. It's it's just like email guys. It's just like being updated frequently, and not only that, can you use it for web pages to get updated on what's news. You know a lot of people use it for news. You can use it for like sites like CNN, BBC. Uh, you can use it for even YouTuber YouTube channels. If you go to somebody's YouTube page, let's say you really like their videos, and just like a subscription, basically it would just tell you if you go to their YouTube page and you subscribe to their, uh, let's go to my page, if you go to their RSS feed, and I'll just go to my videos, for example, and if you click on, let's say, one of, their, one of my videos, my latest video right there that I just uploaded like two seconds ago, let's see now, I think it should work, okay, okay. Wait, let me go back. Now, usually in your browser, you'll see, usually you'll have the RSS button right around that area, or you'll have your own RSS dedicated page. But if you go down, I'm pretty sure if it's it's on. Just look for the orange icon. It should be around there somewhere. Here, I think it's supposed to be here. Okay, hang on, get one second, guys. Oh, well, hang on. Let me get into that later on. Let me show you first off some other features of RSS. Anyways, moving on quickly because I don't want to run out of the 10-minute limit here. But uh, you can use it for stuff like Twitter to update when, when people, you know, uh, update them their Twitter or their pounce or whatever it may be. Uh, like I said, websites. And uh, for some RSS readers or aggregators, I use FeedReader. But uh, CNN has a good list right here of RSS readers. I'll leave that in the video description. A lot of people use an RSS reader by the name of NewsGator. Uh, if you click right here, the free RSS reader. But if you want to know the one I'm using, it's called the Feed Reader. Just search Feed Reader on Google and you'll find it. Or I'll, I should leave the video. I'll leave the link in the video description. Uh, now, real quick, an example of uh, another example of online. Now you know RSS. This is online RSS. Now you can do it through web R, or I should say web RSS, or even uh, web RSS, or you know the actual feed reader or aggregator. Now iGoogle is an actual feed reader, so let me just show you what I mean by that. So let's say you, if you have an iGoogle, hit add stuff. Let's you know go there, and then let's go to for example not my YouTube, but let's say I want to be updated in Twitter, and I just go to the Twitter page and I find where the RSS would be, click the RSS just double, oh it's an Adam, okay so we're gonna some may be subscribe Adam, subscribe whatever I'm just gonna get this, I'll just get the Adam link and I think now we're gonna go to uh, create your own gadget I believe it is, oh, no no add a feed or a gadget so we're gonna go to add a feed or a gadget and we're just gonna f feed the link in right there added and then so you just go to your iGoogle, add the feed link or the RSS or the XML where the XML view would be, then back to your iGoogle home and there you go. Twitter right there for you. It updates frequently. So if I update something, it would update right there. That's all my Twitters. I can do my friends' Twitters or whatever. So that's RSS implementation and I showed you already feed reader implementation or an aggregator feed reader uh, RSS impl implementation. Anyways guys, that's all for today. I just want to show you an uh, overview of what RSS is, how it could be useful. You know, it can update you in the news rather than you go into your website, stuff like that. And it, you know, alerts you and you can do it many ways with through web uh, RSS like you know iGoogle or you can do it through RSS readers or aggregators anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video uh, comment rate the video subscribe to the video uh, channel if you really like it guys anyways this is like a cool man kid guru saying uh, thanks for watching if you have any feedback email me at kidgurucenter at gmail.com or check out the website at www.techworld.co.nr